Hello everybody, we are starting off our morning with a hike up to see the Statue of Augustus. So that's going to be our morning. We are going to another site later today and then we are crossing on a ferry to Corfu. So we have to be at that by 1.30. So we have a lot of stuff packed in this morning and it's going to be fun. Aaron, you'd have never made it. <laughs> not the guys. <laughs> These notches that are in the wall are where the rams that went on the front of the ship were placed by um, Augustus whenever he won the battle, when he, when he built this uh, kind of a temple shrine memorial thingy for Apollo uh, for helping him win the war. We are taking a look at the archaeological site of the Necromantion. This place is called the Acheron Necromantion. The Acheron is the river that leads to the underworld, and Necromantion means a oracle of the dead. So this place is where people came to uh, communicate with the dead. Nine feet uh, in thickness. You can see actually the wall behind us. Around it, there was a system of, uh, of corridors, some of them uh, very um, uh, maze-like in, in design, with several switchbacks to right and left in order to confuse the persons walking through the building. They were construction, they were, had to, they were here, in those rooms, in the dark, in isolation for, for days. Yeah, I saw, I saw Where are we in? They were in hallucinogenic uh, food, the also they were... We're not in a dungeon, we're in the part where people would come down to get closer to uh, now, closer to hell, essentially, the so they can talk to the locals. Chamber. Then we came in beast our sheep, and took out the sheep, and ourselves went beside the stream of Oceanus, until we came to the place of which Circe had told us. Here Peribides and Eurylochus held the victims, while I drew my sharp sword from, this, uh, from my thigh, and dug a bit of a cubit's length this way and that, and around it... I put a libation to all the dead, first with milk and honey, thereafter with sweet wine, and in the third place with water, and I sprinkled their own white barley meal. And I earnestly entreated the powerless heads of the dead, vowing that when I came back to Ithaca, I would sacrifice in my halls a barren uh, heifer, the best I had, and pile the altar with goodly gifts, and to Tiresias alone would sacrifice separately a ram, holy blood. Okay, so I misspoke. This was actually not used for um, to speak to the dead. There was actually no signs of human activity down here. And so the, why would they have this big empty space if they weren't using it? And so one theory our archaeologists came up with was that it was a house for Persephone. If you take a look at how thick the walls are, uh, it's like signs, or how thick the walls are, and like that cavern underneath. And they also found tools used for catapults. It kind of shows signs of a fortress. I mean, why else would you have that in a sanctuary? This place doesn't look like any sanctuary that we've been to so far. So that's an interesting theory. One thing that throws off everything is there were little figures that Persephone found and there were uh, evidence of sacrifices around this area too so it's just it's really one big mystery. We're getting on a ferry to go to Corfu. This will only take a couple of hours. It's not like you know, the overnight ferries that we took to Crete. Greetings from Corfu. We just arrived. We checked into our hotel 
and it's so nice and cozy and airy. Just look at this. And we just have a view of the cliffside, but it's still nice and green. Aristotle said that this was the um, part of the Emerald Islands because it's so green here. And look at our bathroom. I like it, it's so nice and cute. And we have an actual shower curtain. All right, we are taking a tour of the old town in Corfu. So it's very beautiful here. There's lots of fortresses and stuff like that. And this island was owned or protected, as Aristotle used to say, by the British. So there's a lot of British elements here. One of those British elements is the only cricket course in, um, in all of Greece. The outside of Corfu was built very organized and um, like you can find where you're going but the inside of it was built more organically going with the houses and stuff or going with the hills so houses are going to be like some of them as close as 80 centimeters together so it's really cool. Enjoying some drinks on the patio of the hotel bar.